Probably many of us has experienced motion sickness while on a boat, a car, or an airplane. But what if I told you it's possible to have motion sickness without the motion? Interesting, no? Imagine going for a 7-day luxurious Caribbean cruise. You enjoy your time, everything is great, and you feel fabulous. But the moment you step off the ship, you begin to experience a non-stop feeling of dizziness. You did not have it while on board, but upon disembarking, your symptoms just suddenly began from nowhere. You feel drunk, dizzy, and imbalanced. And unfortunately, your symptoms get worse with sitting and inactivity. So, you have a constant desire to move around, whether by walking around your home or office, or maybe driving a car, or even going back onto the ship. In the medical literature, this is what we call Disembarkment syndrome or mal de debarquement syndrome, which is French for sickness of disembarkment. This syndrome is persistent perception of self motion that occurs following a period of exposure to passive motion. You will feel like you are rocking or swaying even though you are not. It can happen to anyone, but the syndrome is more common in women, usually in their 40s. The most common triggers are boat and ship travel, but also can occur after air travel. The symptoms are variable, but all center on the concept of movement despite not actually physically moving. These patients usually do not experience nausea or vomiting and do not feel a sense of spinning. The most interesting part is that their symptoms greatly improve or even disappear if they are re-exposed to the movement that predated their symptoms. For example, they feel markedly better if they return to a boat or a cruise ship and get back on board. They also report feeling much better while driving a car. However, once they stop driving or return to land again, their symptoms not only return but may also temporarily worsen. Typically, this embarkment syndrome does not persist for an extended period of time. Most patients experience spontaneous resolution of symptoms within days to several months. However, for an unfortunate subset of patients, the symptoms do not remit within several months, and these patients may then be classified as having persistent disembarkment syndrome. Studies have shown that the longer the duration of symptoms, the less likelihood of resolution. The pathogenesis of disembarkment syndrome is not well understood. A number of theories have been proposed. One possibility is that it is a disorder of vestibular adaptation. As you probably know, your inner ear has two major parts. One is the cochlea, which is responsible for your hearing, and one is the vestibule and its semicircular canals that tell your brain what is your head's position in the space. When on a boat, the natural adaptation to the wavy up and down moving environment is mediated by a reflex called the vestibulo-ocular reflex. When returning to land, a small number of susceptible individuals may not be able to turn off or revert to the prior state of vestibular adaptation and will have a persisting sensation of rocking that is the hallmark of persistent disembarkment syndrome. There are no effective treatment for this syndrome. You just need to cross your fingers and hope for the spontaneous resolution of the disease. So remember, the next time you book your luxurious Caribbean cruise trip, beware of white might surprise you upon this embarkment.